I always knew my destiny. My father was a man of faith and a heroic crusader who fought valiantly for the cause of good. The stories of his honor and triumph seemed infinite, and in truth, I never grew tired of hearing them. When news of his death during a crusade in the Holy Land reached us, I decided to emulate him to the best of my ability. I dedicated myself to become a Knight of the Temple, as Father had wanted. I diligently studied the arts of fighting and the Word of God, and I was finally accepted within the Templar Knights. It was the first step on a journey that would change my life, and the world as we all knew it. I was stunned. Adele? Taken away by the Lord Bishop? Why would anyone do such a thing? Eric's mysterious death puzzled me, and the notion that the good Lord Bishop had abducted Adele sent a chill down my spine. Images of my dear departed friend and the fond memories of the lovely Adele flashed through my mind as I set out for the monastery of Belmont, where the Bishop was said to reside. Perhaps there I'd find some answers. The confusion grew as I pondered recent events. How can the Lord Bishop be dead when he was recently seen taking Adele to the Holy Land? And what foul curse had struck the poor monks at Belmont? My task was clearly set before me. I must follow Adele to the Holy Land and end this madness. The dimension of what I had just experienced eluded my senses, hovering on the fragile boundary between nightmares and utter madness. As I wiped the cursed blood from my sword, weary and torn, I saw with surreal clarity what must be done and was surprised to feel no hesitation. I was awed by the strength of Adele's will, which kept the forces of hell at bay. The bishop's horrendous plan must be stopped, and Adele's life must be spared, not only for her sake, but for the sake of all mankind. With strength and resolve, I set my steps back towards the monastery to put an end to this unholy dread. What happened? Who did this to you? I... Uh, Paul... Paul, I, I can't move. I have a message. The man... The man of God... The devil... What are you talking about? Take the letter. I can't move. Dearest Paul, I write to you in great despair. I must call upon your aid as a beloved friend of my daughter. Adele is missing. As you know, she's been blessed by God with special powers which enable her to perform miracles in his name. But something is terribly amiss. And I believe as a Knight of the Temple you can help. Father George, always a trusted friend to us, did not seem himself when he brought the Lord Bishop and several guards to escort Adele to the monastery to study with the priests. She usually returns within three days, but it has now been two weeks, 
I've not heard from her, and the priests and monks refuse to speak to me when I question them about it. Please, I beseech you, you must help me find my daughter and bring her home. Humbly yours, Charlotte. Man of God. The Devil. Belmont. I understand you have some inquiries about our way of life here at Belmont. Not really. I have important issues I must speak to the Lord Bishop about. Be quiet. How can you say this? Desecrate the legacy of our founding father. Do you not know that he is deceased? Dead? How can that be? He is in a sarcophagus in the catacombs, sleeping there these six years past. Six years? I can't believe. Exactly. Uh, myself, I haven't dared to go down there for weeks. It is a disturbing place. It, it had always been. But lately it's becoming worse. Things are not right here at Belmont. George, the priest, has disappeared. And my brothers are acting strange. Be careful down there. Very careful. What's going on in there? Open the door! So you didn't find him, eh? <laughs> what are you talking about? The man of God. <laughs> the devil! The devil! Oh, Adele. I tried to teach you the right ways, poor child. Soon, you'll be where it all began. The final crusade. Closing the circle! He's not dead! He's not dead! Lord Bishop! Oh, Lord, forgive me. The harbour. The poor villager was scared to death. And it seems rightfully so. Where will my quest take me? And what perils? Paul. Paul. <coughs> Don't be afraid, Paul. Adele? The Lord Bishop has abducted me. He uses the powers God has given me to commit vile acts. He travels to holy places and desecrates them with unspeakable rituals. Each one seems to drain me more than the last. As his followers grow in number, his teachings spread like a disease, infecting creatures and men from all faiths and circumstance. He is making his way to where faith began. The Holy Land? Yes. Only you can stop him, Paul. Sail to the Holy Lands and find him. There are many who will oppose you, I fear. But you must prevail. Hurry, Paul. Do not allow him to continue with these monstrosities or further his sinister plan. I will aid you as much as I can by sacrificing some of my own power for you. I will teach you a prayer that will allow you to use it. Close your eyes. Veni Spiritus Sanctus. Sana vulnera mea, et bea comeum comadacia. Amen. I must leave you now. Adele, what? Use the prayer wisely. I will be with you. What perils will await me? Uh. 
You look upon this scene and are repulsed by what you think is profane and evil. But soon, soon you will understand. You will come to know the beauty and the glory of what you now behold. You know, you are a lot like us, Paul. You fight with all your passion for a cause. We Saracens are much the same, though our cause differed from yours. We have had never-ending wars with the European forces, but now the Lord Bishop has united us all. The cause must be the right one. Are you fighting for the right cause, Paul? Join us, and your heart will be fulfilled. We share a true belief that unites all men, all religions. We have your kind, knights of the temple among us, fighting side by side with simple peasants. It is the one way to true power, worth every sacrifice, every single spilt life. Come with us to the holy city of Jerusalem. Soon, the circle will be completed with the last sacrifice. You cannot imagine the power with which we will rule the world. You cannot resist, Paul. This is your destiny, just as the destiny of that beautiful girl, Adele, is to help us close the circle. Very well, then you die. Oh, so this is where they took them all. I've come too late. Lord, what is the meaning of all this? Good man, let me help you. These are all people who refused to join the Lord Bishop. They tried to resist him. Good people. Lost. This is what will become of the world if he is not stopped. Paul, my strength is beginning to fail. The Lord Bishop and his hordes are advancing to the Holy City. The righteous struggle with all their might to thwart his plans, but they do not understand that no worldly power can defeat him. You must go to Jerusalem, Paul. I will teach you another prayer. Pater Omnipotens, sine potestatem tuem succum dare corpus meum, e defendare me ad militibus satanae. Amen. I must rest now. You are in my prayers. Even nature has fallen victim to his evil, and I can do little to save it. Adele? Look, such sweet, harmless innocence. Adele? You must hurry to Petra. If the rite he intends to perform there is not stopped, there will be nothing left to impede the final ritual. You must not let this happen. You cannot know the horrors that await the world if he is able to complete the unholy circle. Paul, I can guide you with my strength, but you have to remember the words of this prayer. 
Pater misericors, Deus eternus, sine manum tuam cadere gravita in discipulos diaboli. Amen. Come, Paul. Drink. I can see that you are weary and warm. I wish I could give you more comfort than this. We don't have much time. The gate has been opened. The bishop will begin the last ritual soon. It is a sacrifice which will bring about the end of everything good and holy. Paul, he intends to sacrifice me. The nightmare that now lies before you is beyond the most horrible of your imaginings. You must be prepared. This living water contains most of my remaining power, which I now give to you. Please, use it well. This prayer will invoke the power. Itarque fabricator nostra mitem tonitrum et fulgo insectatore satanae. Amen. When I founded this monastery 30 years ago, <laughs> I knew that I would be waiting for you, Adele. <laughs> I needed those powers of yours to forge the bridge so we could begin. And this will be the beginning. My monastery, our first stronghold, from which we will conquer all. <laughs> Tonight, at last, we close the circle with the last ritual we, my Adele, will lose the bonds of hell and direct its consuming power to devour the world! Tonight we finish our glorious crusade by completing the ring. A ring that unites my monastery with hell and will now be consummated by unleashing the plague of evil upon the world with the sacrifice of this holiest of maidens the final resistance will be defeated she is the key the vessel the pure and untouched lamb oh my Adele my beautiful Adele so often have I conjured images of you that filled me with the most... Bishop! Ah, useless horde! Do I have to do everything myself? 
What are you waiting for? Kill him! Finish him! Thank you. So happy to have you back, Adele. Thank you so much for your bravery and courage. You've saved my daughter, Paul. Thank you. All will be well now. It is the Lord's will. Yes, Mother. I am certain that the Lord's will will be done. <laughs>